Hi viewers and welcome to Breaking Down Nigerian Pidgin English. The marker Kong, also written as Kong, is very used and significant in Nigerian Pidgin English. It does have multiple uses and we're going to look at some of them in this class. Firstly, it could be used like the verb calm in English. Let's look at some examples. I know come here. Come here, mumu talk. I didn't come here to listen to stupid talk. I did come. I'm on my way. Or I'll be there in a jiffy. She will come see you later. She will come and see you later. Secondly, if the sentence starts with con, it has an imperative meaning, which means the person the sentence is being addressed to is given sort of an order. Check out the following examples. Come if we dance. Dance with me. Come they go. You can leave. Come give me money. Give me some money. Come chop. Eat with me. So you can see these examples are kind of imperative. Another meaning of con in Nigerian Pidgin English is equivalent to the adverb then in English. Let's see some examples. I can't tell and say I know they interested. Then I told her I was not interested. She come vex, come out from my cabin. She then got angry and left my house. They come, they ask me many questions. Then they started asking me a lot of questions. But I want you to observe now. One important thing to note in the sentences I've just given is that the marker pong precedes the personal pronouns that I used in those sentences. An additional meaning of con in Nigerian Pidgin English is the adverb though in English. Not the conjunction, but the adverb that comes at the end of a sentence which acts as an intensifier. However, to form sentences with the meaning though in Nigerian Pidgin English, the sentence has to start with any WH question. WH question like what, why, who, where, which, and so on and so forth. Let's see some examples. Waiting you can't tell him. What did you tell him though? Where you can't day since morning? Where have you been since morning though? Who they can't day with? Who have they been with though? Why you can't they lie? Why are you lying though? In starting the question with WH question, on only plays an emphatic role in the question. Once again, as explained earlier, it's like the English adverb though, but placed preceding the personal pronoun in the WH question sentence. Lastly, when reduplicated or repeated three times at the beginning of a sentence, the word con acts as the discourse marker look in English, look in the sense of explaining something or making a point, especially when one is annoyed 
or speaking very forcefully. Let's look at some examples. Come, 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 come. Don't they try me? Look. Don't mess with me. Come, 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 come. Wait to be your business. Hey, look. What's your business? Come, come, come. I don't tire. Look. I am tired. Should you know of any other way the marker corn can be used in Nigerian Pidgin English? Please share it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.